It's moving season, and whether you're prepping for a move or just moving in, transforming a house to a home can be a daunting task. So lifestyle expert Sabrina Soto joins us live to share some advice on how to start fresh. Good morning, Sabrina. Good morning. I'm actually in the midst of moving myself. I just packed up my New York apartment and moving to LA. So I'm super excited to be partnering with ADT to make it less stressful on everybody else because I know how it feels. Well, yeah, that's a big move for you. And our new tech producer just moved this weekend. But for people who are thinking about moving, are there things you can do to organize before you move that help you throughout the process? Absolutely. My rule of thumb is if you haven't touched it in a year, chances are you don't need it. So give it away, donate it or sell it. It's less things to pack and less things to unpack. And you'd be surprised purging how freeing it feels. So that's number one. And then when you're packing things, make sure to organize everything. Um, when you open the box, you could even list an itemized list of exactly what's in that box. So when you're unpacking, it makes it a little bit easier. All right, so those are some good places to start. What are some other ways to make it less stressful and eventually make our house a home? Okay, well, to make it less stressful, too, is to walk through with your movers to make sure everybody's on the same page. Things that are irreplaceable, you might want to take with you personally and not let the movers take it. And if you have really valuable items, look into getting separate moving insurance. It's going to give you a little bit of peace of mind. Okay, I like that. That's a good one. You know what? That's a great piece because there are a couple items that are breakable that no matter how you pack them, just don't let somebody else handle them because you don't want somebody else to be responsible. So then how do you turn your house yeah. into a home once you're there? Well, there are a few things. First, you want to feel secure. Uh, I love the ADT Pulse app because not only can you monitor your security system, you could also adjust your lights, adjust your thermostat, even unlock the door. Let's say if the movers get there before you, you can unlock the door with a push of a button. But when you do get finally settled in, small little touches like family photos, fresh flowers, they really go a long way. You want to feel like this is your home now. Mm -hmm. I was saying too, just lighting the scent or the candle or something like that that just always makes you feel calm sort of brings the ambiance back yes. to your space. Especially when you're unpacking, you need to be calm and realize that you're not going to do it all in one day. Take your time one box at a time. Absolutely. That's good. So people can win a house to home makeover. Is that right? Yes. Yes, it's a move in makeover. Um, you could upload your photos on ADT's Facebook page. So what kind of photos do you want? Just the boxes, the moving process? What are you looking for? You could, I want to see the room that you feel like needs the most help. You want to see what? Sorry. You could upload a picture of a room that you feel like needs the most decorating help. Okay, so then you'll come in. The person who wins is going to win, what, a big, like one specific room to make it over from a house to a one home? One room will get a... One room will get made over and I'll give them a consultation to help them along the way. Wonderful. What is your favorite thing in your home that just makes you feel like, ah, oh, I'm here? My dog. <laughs> <laughs> so true. So true. So how can people um, find out more about the contest? Go to ADT's Facebook page to enter, and you could find me on Facebook and Twitter as well. That's wonderful. So look up Sabrina Soto. Thanks for being here, Sabrina. Thanks for having me. Absolutely. And the other website that she mentioned earlier was ADTPulse.com.